What is up guys, welcome back to the channel Everyday Carry with Everyday Guys. There's been a bit of uh, social media frenzy around the Southwest Holsters price decrease announcement. And as always, I get bombarded with questions. Thanks so much, James. So I'm, uh, guys, I'm going to take you through the Southwest Holster, right? Um, why I think it's the best Holster in the country and why I run it, right? So the first thing I want to talk about, I want to jump right into this because I've got a lot to talk about and I've got a lot of Holsters in front of me on this table. Is safety. Safety for me has been sort of uh, put into, there are three categories for safety. Concealment, trigger guard accessibility, or trigger accessibility, excuse me, and the accessibility of the firearm. Now, those are in no particular order, so don't think one is more important than the other. They are all equally important. Some may be a bit more important than the other. So, let's talk about concealment. Firstly, I don't want someone knowing that I'm carrying something in, under my t-shirt jacket or whatever the case may be. So concealing your firearm is really, really important. Now that doesn't just mean that someone mustn't be able to make out um, the shape of the grip, although that technically is what concealment means. And also, you don't want to draw attention to yourself by having something sticking out the side of your t-shirt. Anyone who knows a bit about firearms might, con might think, hey, that, that guy looks like he's running something. Okay, so you don't take that risk. Now, Concealment, if you're running an appendix holster, guys, you're going to need a claw on your holster. It doesn't matter how good you design it, you need a concealment device, whether it be a claw, a wedge, or Bravo Concealment's torsion technology. You can't just take a holster you've designed for strong side, bolt a, a mag carrier onto it, and say, there you go, that is your, south, uh, your appendix inside the waistband holster. It requires a concealment device. So strong side, concealment device is basically often the cant of the holster. So if, if you're running an appendix rig, if you're considering buying an appendix rig, you need to ensure that that holster has some kind of concealment technology built into it. The Southwest holsters have the claw in between the Kydex. And I believe they're the only ones doing it. I'd only beetle because you probably can't see it that well, but it's basically Kydex, spacer, claw, spacer, kydex. So if there is going to be any bendage on the claw, it's the claw that will break and not the actual kydex of the holster, right? In which case, Southwest Holsters will generally supply you with a new claw. Um, personally, I've never had a claw break on a Southwest Holsters. I have had it break on two other holsters, but that's beside the point. So safety, concealment. You've got to be able to conceal that guy um, and make sure that no one is suspecting you of carrying anything. The next thing is trigger accessibility, right? So I'm running a Surefire X300, it's quite a big light. That doesn't mean I should be able to get my finger, my finger can't get to the trigger, right, of this holster, front or back, okay? Trigger guard accessibility is, or trigger accessibility is really important, guys, for safety. There are a lot of important things in this area, and you want to ensure that you keep um, everything that you had before you put your host on. So ensure your trigger guard is covered. And then accessibility. So just before we get to accessibility, guys, it doesn't matter what light you run. O light, show fire, stream light, whatever the case may be, your finger should not be able to get into that trigger guard area. So I'm going to put it out there. And then accessibility, accessibility of the firearm. You want your holster configured in such a way that it sits high enough that it's not on your belt line. People put their holsters on their belt line because they don't conceal very well. The problem with that is when you go to grab it, you grab your belt, especially if you're sitting down. So having a holster that has a proper concealment device that offers you the ability to get a full firing grip before it even comes out of the holster without having to move the firearm around that's very really important. So those features generally cover safety for me. Um, and then mobility, right? I wear my holster almost all the time. I'd say 80% I'd say of the time, 80% of the time. So those of you who watch my videos, my vlogs, you often see me, I do a pocket dump in every vlog. I'm wearing my holster with my Surefire X300 and I'm sitting down for that entire video. Go through my older videos and you'll see it. I've probably done more pocket dumps on YouTube than anyone, probably well over 100. So, and I've shown that shown the Southwest Holster or whatever Holster I'm carrying when I do it. Um, so mobility is important and effectively the ability to carry your weapon system in such a way that you don't have to sacrifice a light 
or a class two base plate or a red dot or suppressor height sights. Southwest holsters, all the holsters cater for suppressor height sights. They cater for an optic and obviously if you buy a light bearing option, um, it will cater for the light. Now let's talk about the light bearing option quickly. So my EDC is the X300, right? Um, guys, we are empty and safe. I do have one full mag just off the side in case someone decides to test me tonight. Remember, we don't get to pick uh, when and where. So light bearing options. If you if you want, obviously the X300, you are good to go. Um, the Olight Balder Pro R. I have all the Olights, but I like the Balder Pro R. Southwest also do make a holster for that. And as you can see, this is a Rattler. The holsters are modular. If you don't like carrying a, a spare mag, you can. You can adjust the can, take the claw off and run the strong side. It's a funny thing. You can make an appendix holster, a strong side holster, but you can't necessarily buy a strong side holster that's, that's dedicated to strong side and make it an appendix holster. Food for thought. Um, and then obviously if you want to go for a compact weapon light, I'm a huge fan, and I think it's the best compact weapon light on the market right now, of the Streamlight TLR7A. The South Office obviously does make a holster for that, which is also quite a legend of a holster. Um, where's my mag? Tuck that in there. And you are now good to go. The nice thing of the TLR7A holster is it can also fit the popular OLED Mini Balder S RSL ST, the mini one, right? The one with the laser, right? It will fit your holster for your TLR7A. Just loosen it up a bit. Mine isn't loosened up a bit now, so it is a bit tight, but she definitely will fit. Don't worry about that. Okay, let's go back to my standard holster. Um, the, the mag and firearm entry wells are flared. Uh, let me show you why. I like that and it's not it's, guys. It's not the world's biggest deal. I'm gonna be honest with you Right, but it's a nice feature to have because if you are someone that does like to run the Administrative reloads and you like to put that holster Back in your mag carrier then having a fleet mag area just makes it a bit more uh, easy and accessible also, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but I'll roll in B-roll if you can't. The mag has a concealment ridge, so it tucks the mag into your body, especially if you're running a, a um, Glock 17 mag, so you get maximum concealment on both sides of the firearm. Guys, in terms of appearance, if appearance is your deal, there's pretty much no one in the country that can match Southwest Holsters. Right, these guys are like multi-cam, black multi-cam, whatever you want. They can print freaking things on there. They are some of the best in terms of um, looks. And now they are the best in terms of price. And I think they make the best package all around. I've been on courses recently where I've seen people running substandard. Also, I've seen people with appendix also with a firearm is sitting like that at this ridiculous cant because they can't conceal it otherwise. Guys, generally, on a Southwest Horses, I run a flat setup. I don't cant my firearm in any way, shape, or form. My, my slide is vertical, right? That gives me the best opportunity to get the firing grip on my firearm. If I have to come at the angle, can you see that just doesn't make sense? Um, straight lines are strong, angles are weak, quoting Travis Ailey. If you are finding yourself doing that, if you're finding yourself running your holster super low, or your firearm super low on your belt in order to aid concealment, chances are your holster isn't concealing as well as it should. Give Southwest also a try. Guys, I'll leave them linked down below. They make some really good gear. Um, if you absolutely hate James, and I know there are some people who just, I mean, there's times I hate James, but if you absolutely hate James and you want to get a really good holster, I, the holster companies I think are really quite cool are Quantum Carry, Matthew Wright. He's another good holster smith. And I really do like his centerline um, Alster and then Eric Ace at Shinobi Cardex. Eric Ace, I like Eric because, well, firstly, he, it was his also was the first Alster I ever ran, but also he's a shooter like James. People who run their own gear on the range and go to the range often, I have a huge, I have a greater value for them in the Alster market, right? If you make a Alster, you should be shooting from that Alster often. 
otherwise it's, it's like it's like someone who designs cars or makes cars but doesn't drive it doesn't make sense you've got to be on the range often running your gear finding out where the brake points does this work does that work how can i get maximum speed and still get maximum concealment that sort of thing and one of the things i really appreciate about J appreciate about james and eric that i know of is that they shoot so i'll always look to them um, when they're making something new um, guys, that's it. There's been a huge media, so media, social media hoo-ha around James's price dropping. I don't know how he does it. Like I don't, know, I don't know this. I don't know his company that well. But he is now the least expensive, best holster manufacturer in the country of all the of all the well-known holster manufacturers of all the established um, holster manufacturers. So, if you are looking for your next holster. It is, and I very rarely recommend things. It is one of the easiest recommendations I can ever give you to get the South resources. That's it, guys. I will see you next week for my review of the Intermediate to Advanced Pistol course I did last week. Have a good week. Be safe, train hard. Cheers. God bless.